Hello, I'm Carly Meakin and today I'm going to tell you about five shortcuts in SQL Prompt you probably didn't know about. Whether you're new to SQL Prompt or use it every day, hopefully you'll take something new away from this that will save you some time back at your desk in the office. If you are new to SQL Prompt, then SQL Prompt is a code completion, formatting and refactoring tool for SQL Server and this will plug into SQL Server Management Studio or Visual Studio, so wherever you're most comfortable working. This right here is the actions list in SQL Prompt and it contains over 20 functions and snippets for formatting and refactoring SQL and today we're just going to focus on five of those. So number one, add quotes and commas. Say you're copying a list from Excel and you want to insert that data into a table. You can just paste that list right here into Management Studio, then highlight the text here, hit Control and select add quotes and commas. This will save you time from manually adding the quotes and commas line by line. SQL Prompt just takes care of it right there for you. Number two, surround with snippets. Surround with snippets allow us to enclose a group of SQL statements into a logical block of code. For example, a begin end block or a try catch. And both of those are preloaded into the actions list. And it's really handy because they utilize the selected text placeholder which means that you can just highlight your SQL statement right here, hit control and type BE and SQL prompt will put the begin and end around your SQL statement for you. You can also create your own customized uh, surround with snippets right here from the snippet manager. Okay, number three, commenting and uncommenting code. So if you're um, perhaps you're testing or troubleshooting a query, you might want to omit some lines of code while you're doing that. Again, really simple, just highlight the lines you want to exclude, hit control and select comment, and SQL Prompt will comment out those lines of code right there for you so that they're not included when you execute it. And this is really easily reversed as well, just by um, selecting uncomment from the actions list. Number four, unformat SQL. Say you've got a SQL string in your application code in Visual Studio, for example, um, but you've got some optimizations to make and you'd rather make those in SSMS where you normally work. You can just copy and paste that string out into Management Studio, which means that you can then um, format it into the layout you're used to working in. You can make those optimizations or those changes you need to do. And once you're happy with those changes, you can just highlight the SQL here, hit control and select unformat. And SQL prompt will remove any extra carriage returns, tabs, extra spaces, that sort of thing, and compact it as much as possible. So as you see here, you can paste it back into Visual Studio as one string. Number five, remove comments. When you're writing insert into statements, if you press tab after entering the table name, SQL Prompt helpfully adds comments to remind you of the data types and sizes you need to provide for each column. So this can be really useful in development, but maybe you want or even need to remove these before checking into source control. What SQL Prompt can do is if you just highlight your SQL here, hit control and select remove comments, SQL Prompt will strip out all those comments for you automatically, which will save you a bunch of time, especially if you're working with a large script. Okay, bonus tip. I said I was going to give you five tips, but this is brand new in SQL Prompt 7.3, which we've just released, so I wanted to give you a sneak preview, um, and that is disable formatting for selected text. So say you have bulk inserts that shouldn't be wrapped. Um, what you can do is you can highlight that SQL and hit control and select disable formatting for selected text. And SQL Prompt will enclose the selected code with comments so that when you run format SQL like this, that block of code will not be formatted. And that's it. So there are a ton more SQL Prompt tips from data platform MVPs and other SQL Server experts all available at redgate.com slash super SQL tips. Next up, we've got Grant Fritchie talking all about SQL formatting and the importance of having clean, readable code. If you've learned something new, please do share it on Twitter. We've got the hashtag SuperSQLTips and, of course, SQL in the City. If you have any questions, I'm hanging out on Twitter, so just drop me a message at CarlyMeekin22 or the hashtag SQL in the City. And if you're new to SQL Prompt, then please do go ahead and try it for free yourself. We've got a free trial for 28 days available at redgate.com slash SQL Prompt. Thank you.